Hey, what's going on? This is uh, GGK. Thanks. Bye. Uh, I actually got a project for today. In this video, I'm going to convert a modded rock band pedal into a modded Guitar Hero World Tour pedal. A few things I've got laying here, of course, I've got the old Remo practice pad. Is If you've watched the uh, Ghetto Mod pedal, you see that it was used in that. Uh, a few other things that I've got for this, uh, a little bit of wiring that I stole off a uh, old jack, a two-pack of one-eighth foam plugs from Radio Shack, a small 68-cent cover from uh, Home Depot, electrical tape, quick set epoxy, and a piezo, piezo sorry, trans transducer. Probably help if I speak clearly. Uh, its model number is 273073A. And I'm uh, going to show you a little bit more about how I'm going to put this together. And uh, we're going to be doing this for the first time uh, on video. It may or may not work. Hopefully, it does work. So, here we go. Okay, first thing I did was uh, unpackage the piezo, carefully removed the black plastic piece that was on the back with a hobby knife. Okay, after carefully removing the black plastic shroud that this was in, you've got your piezo and it's ready to go. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be kind of weird. I'm jumping in time uh, of the video, but I wanted, wanted to go ahead and make a test. I went ahead and put my plug together uh, to my RCA jack and I hooked it up to the piezo which uh, you can see is right here. It doesn't look like much. Well, I've got a batter girl running right now in training mode and uh, I don't know if this is going to be easy to see but I'm going to tap this against my knee. Uh, it's not registering. Hold on, let me let me get something a little bit harder for it to do. Okay, I failed hard on that last video. Uh, it doesn't really register well if uh, while doing that. So I've got the piezo hooked up again. I don't know if I'm tapping it with my finger. Now I'm going to go and show you, explain a little bit how I put that together. <laughs> Alright, this is an already put together plug. I'm not going to take it apart, but I'm going to show you with the other plug that I've got that it's pretty simple. This little plastic piece will slide off, it actually twists off, and you've got this right here. The longer piece is your negative, I'm assuming, and your shorter is your positive. Uh, just remember on the wire which one you're using as positive and negative. And what I did is I just twisted it, ran it through that hole, looped it around it, and electrical taped it off. Same with the positive, which is right here. Of course, positive. Negative was what I'm using. Um, at that point, you just slide your piece down the wire, and you've got your connection. On the other end, I remember which one I've got positive, which is I'm using red for positive, black for negative. And after you, you know, you just take your piezo and just put your wires together. Now I'm doing this project real cheap, uh, real fast. So I'm just using electrical tape instead of using, you know, connections and stuff like that. But uh, of course, you can use other things, and uh, you'll get the same effect. Uh, my next step is taking this Remo pad apart and um, finding a way to put all the uh, electricals, uh, electrical stuff inside of it. <laughs> okay, have it all apart. Got a big layer of foam. 
plastic piece, this, and of course the backing. Uh, so I've got that apart. Now I'm going to go ahead and epoxy my uh, piezo to this because I'm going to be using this as a transfer plate. Okay, and I've mixed my epoxy and kind of taken the sensor and just kind of wiggled it around to get the excess glue from out the, underneath it. And it's waiting to be dried. And during this time period, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop rolling and uh, start a new thing of film.